This is turning $100 into $10,000. Yep, so let's get straight into the introduction of the video. What's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to another video. I feel like I make a lot of these videos where I leave, come back, leave, come back, but I feel like this time it's for good. The reason why I say I'm confident that it's for good is because I've I've have I have like a big sh splurge of confident or yeah like confidence and motivation and like strive to bring out new videos and now that I've done the podcast and other stuff like that I've learned more about video production editing so like every, like you know stuff like that and I feel like I've gotten really good at it so I feel like it's like right now it's so much easier for me to bring out these videos as to before I didn't have all this equipment, the PC, like all the resources, and now that I do, I feel like it's really easier for me to bang out videos. So that's what this is. So basically, if you guys don't know what turning a hundred into ten thousand dollars is, is I start with hundred dollars and I build my way up to ten thousand. So say I have a hundred dollars and I buy a shoe for a hundred dollars. Say I use the whole amount and then I end up selling for one forty. I now have one forty available and I keep building upon that until I hit ten thousand. It's currently October twenty sixth of twenty twenty one which means I have till October 26th of 2022 to complete the challenge. The goal is to hit $10,000. Hopefully I hit more, um, but the minimum amount I want to hit is $10,000. I've already filmed this whole video, so I already know what goes on. Um, just know that it was a banger. There was also a slight dilemma, and with one of the pairs, y'all are already gonna see what's gonna happen. So there will be an update next video on if I sold the shoe, if I made money, if I lost money. And if I lost money, it's all good because it shows that everyone makes mistakes. But I hope you guys are here for the whole ride. Um, I feel like we're most definitely going to bang that $10,000 mark. But yep, hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's get right into it. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Um, I don't know if I mentioned mentioned this in the intro, but it's the road from 100 to 10 grand. Um, I did already pick up two pairs that are under 100, but I still have like a little leeway. Like I still have a little extra money left. I don't want to say how much yet because I haven't introduced the shoes. But um, so I'm gonna go pick up one. I'm gonna go pick up one pair for the series, and then I'm I'm gonna go pick up another pair that isn't for the series. And then um, after that, I'll come back home. I'll introduce the shoes. We'll get them posted, and we'll see what happens. Um, so right now we're about to head. Uh, like it's gonna be like a little 40-minute drive to get the next pair. Then, well, the next two pairs. But yep, we'll see you when we get there. Let's go, bro. Man, check them out. I'm gonna put them on top of my head. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You just getting ready to shoot? Getting rid of shoes just to get rid of shoes or what? Mm -hmm. I got like Jordan and shit at the house. Oh, for what kind do you have? Uh, Jordan 4s and all that shit. Would you be looking to get rid of those too or not? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, if anything, I'll hit you with my um, with my number or something. You can let me know. Oh yeah, I got other shoes. Jordan can get rid of shoes. I got like Adidas, or Nikes, Curry, all that shit. Yeah. So we had a agreed on 10, correct? Huh? We had a agreed on 10, correct? 10? Yeah. I could have sworn that's what I texted you. I, didn't hear I swear. Yeah, you like, I was like 10, I'll pick up. And you were like, okay. For real? Yeah, look, that was the first message I sent. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, I got to get the right, the wrong one. That was you. Yeah, that was that was the first message I had sent. Shit. Ten for those. Yeah. And then I mean, if anything, we can work out a deal on the other ones too, like later on down the line. You hear me? Because I was under the, well, I, I was under the impression you had agreed on ten, because like you just said okay, you know. I can't do ten. Damn, bro, I drove all the way out here. It's like a 40 minute drive for me, my boy. Can you do 20? I do 15. Cause I, I, I also thought it had box, but I might have not seen that. Just the box? 
Yeah, I thought it had a box as well, but would you be able to? I'll do 15. No box at home. Fuck. Do 20 if I can come bring it to you. You wouldn't be able just to do 15? Um, I got the box at home. Yeah, but then I'm gonna have to wait as well, you know what I mean? I, I can bring it to you. I didn't really. Yeah, really? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's why it was a long yeah. drive for me, you know? I do 15. All right, then. For sure, my bad, bro. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got more shoes. Yeah, I'll hit you with my number and you let me know. All right, good. It's good. All right, All right, sure. I'll come out here again, too. All right, All right. All right. appreciate you. So as y'all just saw, um, <clears throat> I copped a um, pair of size 13 no box Air Force Ones. Honestly, they're in better condition than I thought they would be. So I felt like I, can, I did come up. Uh, we did agree on 10, but I guess he uh, misread the messages. So I wasn't gonna lose a deal over like $5 because he countered me with 20. So I just, did, I was like, hey bro, can you match me at 15? And then we locked the deal. So that actually puts me five dollars so out of the hundred dollars i had available i did spend 95 dollars um you guys are gonna see the next two pair or the other two pairs in the next clip um sadly i didn't get a record because when i went to go take my gopro it died uh, well it didn't die i dropped it and my sd the micro sd card broke and i wasn't able to buy another one in time so i'm gonna show you the other two pairs um i'll let you know how much i paid for those but yeah so now i'm uh i might pick up another pair i'm just waiting for the guy to reply but if I don't, um, the next clip will be me at home uh, showing you the other pairs and then we're going to clean Then we're also going to clean them as well real quick. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. So the grand total I paid for all these shoes is going to come out to $95. So it would be, it was 15 for this pair, which was 10. And then it was 80 for the two of these. Um, I'm a really good negotiator, so I know it sounds unrealistic, but I can promise you the only thing is missing is inserts, but... Well, I paid 80 for these two, and I paid 15 for this pair, so that I would bring my total spent to $95, and my available to $5. So now we're gonna clean the shoes, get them ready to sell, and yeah, so it's gonna hit that in the next clip. So, um, <clears throat> I actually got the, I don't know if you have to say, I got the Fire Red Fives and Icebox. So, um, so I had five red fives in the icebox and I actually decided that I'm not gonna repaint these just because I feel like they're too far gone. Um, I did end up paying 80 for both fire red fives and the, what else? And the air maxes. So I'm gonna just sell these for like 10, $20. Let's see if they sell. Or I'll just do highest bid. Whoever puts highest bid, I'll sell it to them. Um, and then I have these drying right here. I have these and the insoles drying as, as well as the laces. So once those are done drying, um, I'm gonna put the laces on both and then I'm gonna get pictures done. So for now, I'm gonna just go back to editing. And then whenever I'm, whenever everything's dry and finished being in the icebox, I'm, uh, well, you'll see what happens next. All right, so um, they came out of the icebox. First things first, let me get this pair. Like the bottoms, they didn't, they de-yellowed a little bit but um, we're gonna get them like another two ice sessions. But you remember how I did this right here? Why well, fucked up. Yeah, they turned really red. I didn't know, I think they got burned. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get the yellowing out and if I can't, we might have took an L on these shoes. Um, I feel like the only thing that's gonna come out of this is that shit happens. Um, not everything goes your way. So we're gonna see if we can fix this, if not, um, we're still gonna try to make a profit out of the shoes and if we can't well, we can't but um, Yeah, I'm gonna uh, keep trying to get this out and then I'll update you guys when everything sells uh, All right, so now that I have all the um, Well the shoes done Now that I have these like Looking better than they were before these as well I'm gonna uh, get them posted and we're hopefully gonna get them sold by the end of the day. So yep, let's get into it
I just finished um, getting everything posted. <clears throat> I've worked like in 40 minutes. So hopefully they sell while I'm at work. Uh, this is what the story looks like. That's basically all it is. Um, hopefully they get sold by the time I go to work. Um, I put starting bid for the Air Max at $5 and the Air Force ones at $20. So regardless, if someone does minimum bid, still make money on the shoes. Uh, now all we're gonna wait for is the Fire Red 5s and whenever I get those posted, I'm gonna get them posted. Um, I'm not, this video is not gonna finish so all the pairs sell and then so I can start the new one with me going to go sell them or me getting the next pairs. But yeah, so hopefully the next clip is me posting this pair or me getting everything sold. So yeah. So as y'all can see, it's late at night. Uh, currently going to my car. And we've actually sold these pairs on now, if y'all can see. It's the Air Maxes and the Air Force Ones. Uh, we're doing local meetups. I sold them both. We'll do a little recap on how much I sold them for. But uh, we're getting into the car. Gotta get them sold, and yeah. Let me get bro. Let me get bro. Okay. Let me get my boy. Sure. Thank you. Right, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Yeah, I'm gonna put meat up, dog. I know the boy, but like, fuck. Oh well, um, just finished that meetup, so we're about to hit another one real quick. And then we'll do another recap. All right, I just pulled up, texting brother on my side. Uh, so hopefully it comes out real quick. A little fit check. UNC threes, some cargoes, blue flannel, black sweater. It's all right. It's good, bro. Long time no see, my boy. How you been? Oh, good. How about you? I've been doing good. This is good. Sound shoes, just working, my yeah. boy. And you? Same. What you been up to? Working. Uh, Where you work? Packing house. Thank you. All right, good looking. Yeah, you too. All right, y'all going. You too. Appreciate you. All right. So, um, we're at the end of the video. Um, basically, well, I, a little recap of the episode was I got three pairs for a total of $95. Spent $80 on the Air Maxes and the Fire Red 5s. And then I spent another $15 on the Air Force Ones, which would mean I spent a total of 95 out of the total of 100. Um, two pairs have sold already. The only two pairs that I actually listed, because you guys already know what happened with the Fire Red 5s. They're actually sitting right there, but I'm gonna wait till next video to show you guys what like what's gonna go down with them. But basically, I did sell both pairs. The Air Maxes I sold for twenty dollars, and then the Air Force ones I sold for forty dollars. So what that means is that my new available total is sixty-five dollars. That means for the next episode, I have sixty-five dollars to spend on a new pair of shoes to try and flip. Um, hopefully. The total does come out to a little more after I sell the Fire Red 5s. Hopefully I don't take a loss, which I don't think I will. Pretty sure at the least I can get $60 out of them. It's OGL. But um, I'm going to look to selling them by next episode. And uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, all pairs are going to be sold on Instagram. So make sure you guys do check my Instagram link down below. I'm going to have a little screenshot of my page right here. Something like that. But make sure you guys do go follow for any other heat because I'm also going to be selling pairs that aren't part of the series on there as well. The goal is to have a new episode once a week. I don't want to bang out like two episodes a week or yeah, stuff like that. I try to keep it weekly. So whatever happens throughout the week, I'm going to upload it for that week and then so on and so forth. Uh, that also does mean that I made a profit of... What I sold for 40. So that does mean I made a profit of $25 on the Air Force Ones, which is, in my opinion is really good. Especially, you, a lot of people do have Air Force Ones. You can just ask locally, hey, how much for this pair, how much for that? And then you can make a quick clip the way the same way I did. 
And then for their maxes, we're just gonna say I got them for free and then say I paid $80 for the Fire Red Fives. So that would mean that my total profit would be $20. So profit for this episode is $45. Um, obviously at the beginning of these episodes, it's gonna be a really slow start just because we're starting with a small amount. But the reason why I start with a small amount is just so you guys can follow along. But yep, yeah, that's it for this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. Stay tuned for the other one. And if you haven't checked out the podcast channel, please make sure you do. Um, it's with me and a friend of mine. We have our own podcast, so make sure you guys do check that out. But yep, yeah, that's everything I had to say. Make sure you check the socials. Sub to all the channels. Hope you have an amazing day because I know damn well I did. See you.